Welcome back. Well, if you have children, the name Jan Brett might speak your interest or might spark your interest rather. Her beautiful picture books help readers feel like they are really visiting imaginary places. Her stories come to life. You can see Jan Brett's work up close and personal. Lisa Hatchadorian takes us inside Fort Collins Museum of Art. And so glad you could join us, Lisa. Thank you very much. All right. Well, what else can you share with us about Jan Brett? Well, if you don't know Jan Brett, she's a New York Times bestselling number one author. She has over 39 million books in print, which is incredible, over a 35-year career. And she lives in Massachusetts. People kind of want to know where she comes from. So she lives in between Boston and Cape Cod. And she has been working since about 1980, illustrating and authoring these fantastic books. And how does Jan get her great ideas? Well, since she was about six years old, Jan has had a menagerie of pets, whether it's guinea pigs or hedgehogs or chickens or horses. She gets a lot of her ideas from her animals, kind of how they play, how they explore the world, and those come out in her books. And her work is so detailed, Incredibly so detailed. detailed. Her, yeah, and so she even travels to, uh, to research for her books. And so what, what are some of the books? Can you talk, us, talk to us about that? Sure. Travel and research is a main part of what she does. Basically, for her to create a book, it takes about a year. And so the travel and research part takes about four to five months. And she goes to all different parts of the world. Say, with her book, The Umbrella, she went to the Monteverde Cloud Forest in Costa Rica. Wow. With Cinders, um, her chicken Cinderella story, she went to Russia. And she, reached, she researches landscape and architecture and costumes and the culture itself. And that all comes out in her books. And why is the character Hedgie, the hedgehog, so important here? Hedgie. I, we've got Hedgie, but we have another mascot. Yes. Yeah, why is that so important? Well, Hedgie is kind of the unofficial mascot for <laughs> the exhibition, and he's a character that reappears in a couple of different books that she's created over the years. And he's just a wonderful character for kids and adults to relate to. Yeah, and it's very cute, and that's for sale. Yes, <laughs> we <laughs> like course. that. So he's a hand puppet. Yeah, too. yeah, all oh, that's cute. So, what's the creative process Jan takes as she's thinking of her her stories and helping them come to life? Mm -hmm. Well, kind of like making movies, she starts with a pencil sketch, and st actually, she starts with the story. When she has the story in her mind, then she creates almost a storyboard for the book and start sketching out visually where the pictures go, where the words go, and how they relate to each other. And then she starts creating more of the more detailed illustrations. So really the tool in the beginning is just sketching it out. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? And so how long does it take her to complete a book? About a year from start to finish. So again, half of that time is a travel and research and thinking of the topic that she wants to hone into. Mm -hmm. And then with the actual book itself, it takes her about four to five months to actually create the illustrations. and. This is a little interesting fact for about a one square inch part of her illustration. It takes her about a day to, wow. or not, you know, about an hour or so. An hour for one square mm -hmm. inch. So if you can imagine, there's the mitten, which is a popular one among kids as well. So at the Fort Collins Museum of Art Exhibition, what will the visitors see of Jan Brett? Well, right now we have um, over 50 original illustrations that uh, are from about 12 different books from her whole body of work that spans, again, about 30, 35 years. And we have great activities for kids. We've got a scavenger hunt going on, so kids can come in and find different things in the pieces. We've got word counts. We've got a coloring station. So lots of activities for adults and for kids. And this has been going on for a while. Time's actually running out. It ends this Sunday. Is yes. that right? Yes. The <gasps> exhibition has been up the whole entire summer. And this Sunday, the 23rd, is our last day. And you've got some special closing events for the weekend. We do. It's kind of a back-to-school oriented weekend. So we've got letter writing stations to Jan Brett, if, and she loves to hear from her fans. So if you want to communicate with her, this is the Hi. great way to do it. We've got a bookmark station. We've got a live hedgehog coming. And we've got a couple story times over the weekend. Did you say a live hedgehog? Yes. All right, yes. as opposed to the fluffy, mm -hmm. furry hand puppet. Well, we all know her illustrations are absolutely beautiful. But is there meaning behind her stories? Is there a lesson to be learned after each? Each story? Some, for the most part, a lot of times she puts her characters through kind of a, a difficult, adverse situation to see how they cope with getting through the world and things that come up. And some of her characters are very curious, they're pushing the boundaries, and so it's a lesson that kids can relate to. Uh, yeah, and do you think that's why they gravitate towards her books? Definitely, very yeah. much so. Plus, she creates a whole imaginary world that you can just fall into with her illustrations. And it's not just for kids? No, adults love them. And yeah. that's the thing that I find that has been so wonderful about this particular exhibition is that you have three different generations of a family coming in all at once to see 
her work. So you've got the grandmother, the mother, the grandkids all coming in to experience it. Lisa Hatchadorian, thank you so much for joining You're us today. Welcome. We appreciate it. Well, escape to a different world at Fort Collins Museum Art. This is the last week to see the amazing work of Jan Brett. Special activities are planned, so be there this Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, enjoy story time and meeting a live hedgehog. Check it out. Check it out online at ftcma.org or by calling 970-482-2787.